What is up everyone, you literally welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome. Um, thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you are returning, thank you so much for watching this video. It does help me out a lot. So today, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be doing a Get Ready With Me. So I am going to the Rooftop Cinema in Uptown here in Houston, and it's gonna be my first time going, and it's kind of like a solo date kind of thing. Before I do get into today's video, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, make sure you hit that bell notification so you can be notified of when I upload more videos videos like this and yeah let's get into it yeah, I know my hair looks a bit crazy but I wanted to kind of push it back out of my face so I can do my makeup primer and this is the elf hydrating primer face primer y'all to be quite frank I haven't done a get ready with me in a minute I'm being honest so right now it is 4 32 and the movie starts at like 7 15 so um, I really want to kind of you know get there like an hour early which it says you can get there like an hour early which I'm fine with uh, just so I guess they have games and stuff this is my first time going I'm excited I know it's gonna be hot here in Texas the temperature is like hmm, 96 <laughs> it just went up it was not 94 and it just hit 96 hotter than the devil's balls out here Yeah, I know one eyebrow looks a bit off. But it's okay, I'm gonna clean it up. Okay, I brought y'all in just a little bit closer so I can see my face. I'm just gonna get my concealer and just, you know, clean up my brows. So about this weather in Texas, yo. Here's the thing with me. I'm not too much of a fan of extreme temperatures. You know what I mean? I don't really like it really hot because I sweat so much and that's just ground for me to have like a whole nother shower and then their cycle continues goes in a whole circle like throwing ass rather be cold than be hot on any given day see how it blended nicely I'm gonna go in for my color pop concealer this is in dark 42 just to color correct Now I'm gonna go in with my Lancome foundation. And I really like this foundation. Um, I have this one and I also have one in NARS. The NARS, I have the Tahoe and this one, it is the uh, 435 BISW. Really like the Lancome. Like even though the NARS, it gives like a radiant glow, which is supposed to, that's what I got, but I, I like this one even though it does oxidize just a little bit it oxidizes to my face color so I love it and I'm not really putting it around up under here this is like a new technique that I just like kind of just started and I really like how my makeup turns out because I'm not putting so much product underneath look it just blends honey it blends Judge me. So for my eye, you can see that like I have a little bit of the glue for my lashes. Don't judge me. I keep forgetting to take that off. Don't, don't follow my lead on that one. Now I went to Ulta and I did this in my last uh weekly vlog. Um if you do want to check that out, I'll have that linked up here. And I did get uh some more skincare products that I really really like. I've been using them for like maybe two, three days or so. And it's the exfoliating uh toner that I got from Good Molecules really like that i can i know it's working on my face okay and it does say that if you are going to use it to be careful um going out in the sun to make sure you use sunscreen and that's what i do i use the black girl sunscreen but it does have a dewy finish and i'm okay with it but i think i want to go pick up one at target just to see how the matte finish works all right i'm just going in with my tarte creaseless concealer and it is in the shade tan sand this is the one that's just tried and true for me it's just it so for the other skincare that i got the ColourPop, the uh, setting powder and banana Ooh. Oh girl. Oh, let me tell y'all, listen. So 
I got some flowers. Oh, this looks really harsh. I know it does on camera. But it's gonna even out, just trust me. I got some flowers, I got some impatience, and I've been worried about them. Like, I'm not a green thumb. I've been looking up on TikTok, like, how to care for them. And before I even got them, I, I did my research, you know, because I don't wanna go in, buy something, and I'm like, stuck with them. Like, I can't use them. So I did my research on them, and what I did was, I got those at uh, Lowe's. I don't know if they charge me right. I really don't, <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if they charge me right on the price. I don't, I don't think they did. But you know what? That's that's God's work. I mean, we'll take that up with God. <laughs> I mean, it looks so harsh on camera, but I promise y'all it's gonna work out. And it's gonna look so fucking fire. It's gonna look fire. Flames. But I mean, if you price them and you put a price on them and they're not right, then. So now I'm just gonna go in with my Fenty. This is the Mocha Mommy. Mmm, I love this. I love this bronzer. Oh, I love this bronzer. Now I'm just gonna get one of these brushes here. I don't know what kind of brush it is, but I'm just gonna put those flowers that I got. Um, I've been struggling <laughs> to keep them alive. <laughs> I've been struggling. I'm like, I don't know. Like this is the first time like I've really like, cause I stay in an apartment and it's like the first time that I really kind of really ventured out to get some flowers. And I'm kind of like, Ugh, I don't know. But um, I got on, I looked on TikTok and it said to get these coconut liners and to make sure you put plastic in the bottom of them so that I guess the water retains. So that's what I did. And now since I've been putting Miracle Grow and just watering them um, every other day, cause I'm scared of over watering. Like I will water you and just pour and pour and pour and like, cause it's, it's 96 degrees here in Texas. Like. You need some water. Like, <laughs> I know I would need some water. I don't want you to die. Don't don't die on me. I've been watching them. I've been eyeing them. I got some really cute colors, um, but I'll let y'all know how they turn out. And I got this brush at BoxyCharm. And this brush is really, really good. This is a BoxyCharm brush. Like, I like the, the compact bristles of it. So this is what I usually typically do to blend everything in, to make everything seamless. Mm, 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 mm. She look good, yeah? It's this brush, it's this brush and this one. I got two of them. Oh, water break. So, just a solid orange on my eye and see how that looks. You see, I'm just gonna scoop that all over the eyelid and it's this orange right here. Boop, boop, boop. I'm going in with. And it matches my shorts. <laughs> I just got these shorts in and I'm like, ooh, they are so cute. I wanna wear them tonight. Originally, I was originally gonna wear a dress, but I'm like, you know what, mm, mm Like, I really do need to step up my eyeshadow game, but I really like the simplicity of just being able to choose two or three colors and just go with it. Like, I'm not like a professional MUA. I just know what really works for me. So that's why I'm like, you know what? I know, I know what works for me and I know how to blend. And I learned all of that from YouTube. So with these shorts, this color will match perfectly. Like I did get some cute stuff though. Don't get me wrong. We got a haul coming. Now, I, if I wanted to, I can go in with like a shimmer kind of color, but I don't think that that's something that I want to do. I just really want to keep it simple. And it looks like my lace. Oh, my lace. You see? I don't do hair and makeup first. I do makeup then hair. Okay? This is from Makeup Revolution. Hmm. Okay, so everything's set for the most part. This is the Beauty Bakery Smackaroo. Freshly baked. Now this one you have to be really careful with. She's pigmented. She's pigmented. But even if you put too much, I can go in with my foundation brush and just take some of it away because I've done that. <laughs> I know, I've learned from number six. So now I'm just gonna go in with my Fenty. This is the Hustler Baby.
so now pretty much the finishing look on this is me just putting on some lashes some lips and fixing this wig so for this hair I've had this wig for quite some time I will have that linked up here and I forgot I had it like I low-key like forgot how much this wig now like I was looking like I put it on like one day and I was like this is a wig for the summer. I don't want nothing on my neck. I can't, mm-mm, mm-mm. So I got these lashes, ooh. I completely forgot the name of these lashes. I ain't gonna go front. The lashes is what set off the whole look. So I like to go in with this quick set adhesive dark tone glue. I'm not the kind of girl that puts the glue on the strip and then put it on because it just, it just never did work out for me. So this is how I put my lashes on. Make sure you get baby oil. That's what I use. I use um, Q-tips baby oil and I just rub it on. And then I get, then I get these right here and I put these and I just rub these like across and just rub these on my eyelash just to get the glue off and the glue just peels right off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put these lashes, lashes on. Mm, 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 mm. Definitely gonna fix this brow. I slick when I do like the ombre brows. I've been following different uh, artists and different um, brow techs on Instagram and I've noticed this one that in, in Houston. I've noticed actually two of them in Houston. But the ombre brows I want to get is $500 y'all. 500 Now I'm not talking about like anybody's prices. If you want to price it that way, that's fine because you're paying for the years of experience when it comes down to doing this specific technique. Um, but $500 is steep. But I did find someone else and they're doing it for 300 but they're booked up in May. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna have to break down and I'm just gonna have to get these brows done because I really don't wanna have to continue to do my brows every time. Granted, I'm still gonna have to do my brows, but it's not gonna be as detailed as these are. And this is how I want my brows to look. I think they look really good like this. I really like how they just look on my face and that's just how it is. So now I'm going in with my Better Than Sex Mascara just for my bottom lashes. And this is really just what makes it pop. I'm gonna go in with my Minted Foxy Lip Pencil and just line my lips. And I really like these products, they're really creamy. And I have so many different lip liners, it's ridiculous. It just glides on, I love it. I think this is Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Peach Tea Lip Gloss. I just really like how this look. It came out really good. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so this is my final look, um, but I do have to do my hair. So I do need to lay this down just a little bit, I think because of the makeup look that I did and just show y'all how this looks. Oh, this looks like a little bit of a mess over here. What is going on? So this is my fit that I'm wearing and I got this from Shein. I forgot I had it. It was in my closet, you know, I mean, you buy so much stuff, you forget what you have. You have to be careful with this one because you have, you can see underneath. So that's what I'm kind of like. <laughs> these, I just literally just got these in. I opened them, uh, opened the box. And I was like, ooh, these are cute. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and put these on. They're really comfortable. They're really flowy. And I really like the print of them. So I decided to go ahead and put this on. And I do have on just some casual sandals, like some sandals, if you can see. I don't really know what bag that I really want to take. Um, now I noticed there is a hint of blue. There's a little bit of dark blue in my shorts. So I was thinking this to go with it, but I don't think so. What do you think? No, I do have the black purse to go with it. Uh, wanna do the black one. She cute, cause I can easily take these off and just or this I would do the white a lot of white going on but I mean I could do the white one I think I'm gonna go with the white one for my perfume I'm going to be using the Burberry her and when I first smelled this I was like Oh, this smells so good like, I need to like really up my perfume game so that's why I am going to be wearing this just spray you don't need that much 
and yeah so this is my cute little outfit and um i'm so excited you would think that i'm going on a date but it's just a solo date it's just me um i think it's like 5 30 maybe 5 45 ish so i am just gonna you know get some quick snacks just <laughs> put my purse and i am going to head to the rooftop theater so really um i just got home guys and i really enjoyed the movie um i really enjoyed myself just the rooftop experience itself um i definitely would recommend it if you are in houston the rooftop experience the parking is free and um it's really like a kind of instagrammable kind of setup um just when you see the tall buildings and everything really nice place everybody was really helpful i didn't have any issues or anything like that um that's pretty much um the end of this video if you did enjoy this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and yeah i'll see you in my next video